Good morning, my lovelies. So I have just been to hospital. So do you remember just before Christmas, I went to the doctor. I remember I've been summoned and um, she said that she will book me for an emergency scan. They should be two weeks or so. And I was saying at that time, oh, I won't hold my breath because last time I, I waited a year for a scan, but I did get an appointment within three weeks. Uh, so I was very surprised. I went today. Um, I was really taken aback because uh, one of the hospitals that I go to has been demolished because it was very very old and they've built behind it brand new one and I've never been there before um, and it was beautiful <laughs> so nice brand new anyway she told me on the spot that she can't see anything unusual everything looks fine so thank god for that so that's done and now I am at uh, my favorite garden center because it's not that far away. So I thought, well, while I'm out, I might pop in. I sometimes like to look at sales, you know, the Christmas sales. Uh, you can get some good stuff because obviously next Christmas I'm planning on to do um, a bit more decorating that I did, did this year. You were asking me about sofa gate, so I can't talk too much about it because now we had to because now we had to hire a lawyer. Yes, that's how far this has gone. Uh, we have to get lawyers involved now. It's just a nightmare. It's so stressful, honestly. In, I cry. I can't sleep because of it. Every time I think, oh, it's sorted out, something else happens. So. I will let you know um, with time what's happening but yeah that's where we are right now okay my lovelies so I'm gonna go and have a look I'm not really after any decorations as such I'm more of the like artificial greenery um, so yeah I will have a look I've bought one thing nothing to do with Christmas they had some sales on but it wasn't like a nice shopping experience, you know, like at Christmas everything is displayed beautifully and now bits are like everywhere, like a jumble sale and to be honest, I don't need anything but if I saw some nice artificial greenery, I probably would have bought it but what I've bought, oh I can't show you because she wrapped it up I've bought like a glass jug for, <laughs> for my new obsession from DIYing all these vessels into old looking stone type of vessels. This is just a um, glass jar with like two handles on each side. So like I said, I will, anytime I do those DIYs, I will film them and then I will put it in a video together. And um, what's going on here? Yeah, and I will post it as a video. What is wrong with my bag? Oh. Right, I'm gonna go home now and have something to eat. Speak to you later. Good morning, my lovelies. So I'm ju just doing my laundry and then I'm going to carry on with my DIY. <laughs> so I've already texturized that um, glass that I bought in in HomeSense so I'm going to paint it now it's so funny because I was um, you know I have a lot of DIY products and tools because I do like to do it now and again and I found all these brushes why did I ever need that many brushes I guess what happened because they look pretty similar i must have bought a pack of brushes then forgot i had them and bought another pack of brushes actually they are all different sizes yes i have a lot of brushes uh, so yes um i'm going to sit down and 
carry on with my painting honestly that's all I want to do now if this was my job I'd be happy to do it eight to five every day I'm also going to make myself a cup of coffee and I need to tidy up here a bit as well before I sit down and do anything else and probably we'll go for a walk with Louis Saturday today uh, it's nice and dry it's quite cold so um, yeah we probably will go for a walk with Louis morning my lovelies I'm just waiting to go into the dentist so I've got dental checkup and hygienist appointment to clean my teeth and I'm a bit early so I thought I'd chat to you so I've been reading your comments about my basket for the console table and yes I most of you said that this basket is not that good for there and I, I know it. I know that the best would be two separate baskets, but the problem I had to find the right size. Yes, I didn't have the measurements, but even without the measurements, the biggest problem was the height of the baskets. They were all a bit too shallow. And do you know what? I don't know if I can be bothered to go back there and try to find different basket. I haven't decided yet. What I thought I will do, because you know this basket is um, oblong shape, oval. I can sort of squish it because it's got wires. Of, it's got wires on the bottom and on the rim, so it doesn't stick out. And also because I really love the weave of it. I was thinking I could paint it, not like the whole thing spray painted, but with the lighter, different colored paint, sort of stain it, if you know what I mean, so it's lighter. So I don't know, um, I do like the basket, I like the practicality of it because it's so big it's so easy to just throw things in and get things out and to be honest yes when you first buy it and you just stand there and look at it and pick at it it doesn't seem right but now after a while since i've had it i don't even look at it and don't even notice it and it's not like it's in my living room somewhere where you look at it all the time it's in my hallway tucked in so so I might keep it and maybe one day I will find perfect baskets for it then um, I will use that one for something else or give it away I don't know you never know with me I could wake up one morning and think right I'm gonna go and find different baskets I really need saving from myself 
I am so obsessed with twigs and branches. Paul said that our house soon will look like a forest. When I get home, I'll show you how many twigs I've got everywhere. Oh, because um, every time we go for a walk with Louis, all I do is look up, up the trees and thinking, hmm, that would be a nice twig. That would be a nice branch. And Paul said, do you know what? You got me to do it now. He walks around, looks at twigs. <laughs> and um, the other day when we were walking with Louis, I found really nice, I don't even want to call it twig. It's more like a branch. And I carried it all the way home to put it in that vase on the console table because I had sort of Christmassy fern bit in it. Um, and it's huge, but it comes across the mirror really lovely. Um, and I really like it, so I'll show you that. So I've got twigs everywhere. When I get home as well, I have to redo my nails. It's embarrassing, they've grown out so much. Look at that, look at that regrowth. So they are very long and you can see all the regrowth. I used to do my nails religiously every two weeks, sometimes even less, but I can't be bothered these days. Just don't take any notice of them. And I've been loving this red that I've made out myself. So I'm not mixing. I put one color on first, which is the semi-lac. I always put it in the description box, which is the semi-lac go on fire, which is like a true red. And then I, the second coat, I use Semilac Elegant Raspberry. And this is my perfect red. And red is going to be huge this year, especially, especially head to toe red. I kept that red knitwear from Zara. Do you remember a few months back I did? Hole from Zara and I kept that and yeah now and again I like red so even if it's an accent so I think I'm just gonna stick with it and in the summer I always wear that very pale um, pale pink which is from it's called be my Habibi but I can't remember never remember the make of that gel and I have I only use semi lac and this other one and I never remember the other one's brand name they are both Polish brands but they are easy to get here if you do your own gel nails I am also rethinking my whole skincare routine so I'm looking the battery is gonna go in a minute um, I'm thinking again to cancel the beauty pie subscription I love beauty pie um, but I haven't bought anything for months because at first I was buying everything and I was using all these products that I think I've given myself that dermatitis right around my nose do you remember in the summer because if you use too many active in ingredients at once that's not good either so um, there is few products that I really like from Beauty Pie, but I love trying new things. And when you subscribe to something like this, you feel like you shouldn't be buying anything else because you're wasting money. So I might cancel that. And if I want to resubscribe, I always can. But I think my subscription doesn't finish till, because you pay once a year. Yeah, I still have till August to, to make my decision but yes I'm trying to get a bit more serious because you know I'm thinking I'm not having Botox anymore or anything like that done just using skincare and um, devices also I think I might start doing facial massage um, there are so many videos on YouTube on facial massage and it looks like they are working, but I think you have to do it every day. And can I commit 
to use all my devices and the massage but I might just do it as a test like try to do it for a month every day and see if it works right my lovelies I better go and I will see you at home and I will show you all my twigs <laughs> I'm back from the dentist I put lipstick on because my mouth my lips were so dry when I have the um, hygienist appointment she does first this thing called airflow and it's basically like sand blasting with water and sand or something so your mouth gets and your lips get very dry right let me show you my twigs so you obviously know this one you always see it behind me then I've got this one so do you remember at first I just bought these um, curly hazel or willows and these I've added that I found while we were walking now look at this huge one on the console table I love it look how huge it is and it comes across the mirror as well and I really really like that so that's my latest twig addition sorry it's a bit dark here I didn't put the light on then you've seen this one in my DIY bottle that I've made over and I've got these ones these ones I've had for years and years I still have a Christmas one in here that's got lights on it but I need to I think redo it. Hold on, the telly is on. I feel like I need to redo it a bit. And also, I might make over this vase. Hello, my lovelies. When I was in a car, I think I was telling you about me trying to change my skincare, but I didn't really go into it. So, I do like the Beauty Pie products. Um, and I use their retinols. I've tried all their retinols and they are really nice, but I feel like they are not strong enough for me. So I'm not ever going to go on Retin-A, like the Tretinoin, you know, I've tried a few times and I know everybody says you have to, you know, stick it stick to it and the irritation and peeling will go away i'm not prepared to do that i didn't like it so i'm never gonna go on tretinoin but the next best thing is retinal retinal the height so basically tretinoin is like the gold standard for skincare it works it's amazing if you are prepared to put up with the irritation so retinols are the der derivatives of vitamin a and the strongest is retinoin so that's retinoic acid now retinol it's like 100 times weaker so what happens when there is even weaker one which which is retinol so you've got retinol first and retinol which we know probably the most about and then retinol the height and then retinoic acid so when you use retinol your skin has to convert it to retinol the height and then convert it to retinoic acid so it takes a long time that's why it works 100 times slower so retinol the height has only one step to convert to retinoic acid so um, I've been researching different retinaldehydes there is not that many on the market that I could find but I've been researching them so I'm trying to maybe simplify my skincare um, a bit because like I've said with Beauty Pie I was so excited the products are beautiful pleasure to use beautifully packaged and I'm sucker for that I've bought like almost everything at once i still have stuff i still have some retinols i still have some moisturizers i still have some um serums i really love the niacinamide serum so i think my skincare was all over the place because i was using all of it i bought every single eye cream that they had to be honest i wasn't impressed by any of the eye creams oh apart from the retinol one 
that one was quite good but I didn't repurchase it because I had all the other ones left so I'm I finished all those so yes I'm looking at retinaldehyde and also I'm tempted to do myself acid <clears throat> acid peel at home if you've never done it don't do it go and have it done by professional i used to do acid pills years and years ago at the beginning of youtube there is this company called bravura london and i remember they sending me um acid pills and i'm sure they were like 20 percent and then they stopped doing the stronger one and just did 10 percent i suppose i don't know if our rules in the uk are a bit tighter when it comes to at home treatments and for safety reasons all they do is 10 percent and 10 percent is not strong enough you know i use lactic acid 10 percent serum so um so i want to try maybe lactic acid first because it's the gentlest one it's very superficial and also it's moisturizing so i might try um, um it's very hard to to find stronger acid pills here in the uk well I found one company and I order from them that 40% lactic acid. So I might do that. But anyway, I'm going to start this new routine. And now I'm thinking if I want to do a pill, I can't really use retinol. You should stop like about a week or like um, alpha hydroxy acids and, and retinols for about a week before you do a pill because um, your skin is more sensitive then. So I don't know. Anyway, I will sort it all out, organize some sort of um, skincare routine, use it for a bit, and then I will talk about it. But that could be, you know, quite a few weeks and months or months. So that's where I'm at with my skincare. Um, I want to do a pill because I feel like my um, skin on my forehead is like all here in the middle and here it's really rough and then i'm thinking should i just go to a beauty salon to a esthetician and have proper deep fill done um, peel but i don't want to go through the awful you like out of action for seven ten days with all the peeling and it's quite uncomfortable so I don't know if I want to do pills at home that I can do every week for a few weeks myself or do one aggressive one. Let me know if any of you have had pills done and which ones and what you think about them. Yes, so that's where I am with the skincare. Let me show you the basket that I've squished and it doesn't stick out now. And now I'm thinking I still have the label on it just in case I want to return it but I don't think I will I'm thinking now about sort of color wash it so it's a bit lighter but have a look at it you see so I squished it so it's not sticking out now and you, you see I've got quite a lot of things there I don't have Louis toys but like his blankets and towels and um, there is a um, uh, cushion cover for his cushion because he has a cushion on a on a sofa and I have to so I change them when I wash one and because it's so big it's so easy to just chuck things in there and get them out yeah so I think I'm going to um keep that basket I've just dropped off Louis at the um, uh, groomer and I told her to look him over I had so much stress with that dog so you know I told you he's been growing little like hard lumps he's got one on his neck one under his ear and um, he's had them for months and months the previous vet told me they are just fatty lumps but they are quite hard they are white in color like fleshy in color but then he got like a lump on his lip lower lip um, and I think that's like papilloma, which is a virus, um, a bit like a wart. Um, they are not um, contagious to people. And I saw a vet for that and she said, oh yeah, they get those lumps, you know, he's quite old now. 
um, we don't remove them. It's best not to touch them unless they grow really big and and are bothersome for the dog. But I've also noticed that that side of his mouth smells a bit. So honestly, I just have so much stress with this dog. I will have to go back to the vet again and, and see what's going on. Um, oh yeah, and he's been biting his tail a lot. So he felt along his tail and he looks like do you remember I told you ages ago he had this almost like a nail, like a claw growing out from his tail. It was disgusting. I couldn't even look at it. And eventually it fell off and then the vet cut it really short. This is something that happens to some dogs. Is I suppose it must be a problem with his immune system. And I think this thing is growing back again. I can't look at it, so I've asked my groom if she can have a look when she's doing him today. And I will have to go back to the vet. They can remove that thing. It's something to do with um, hair follicle that, I don't know, it starts growing a nail in funny places on dog's body. So, yes, so I've got stress with that. My car, there is something wrong with my car. Um, you know when your car has those sensors at the front and back when you're reversing getting close to something and he beeps well mine stopped beeping and i get this warning every time i put my car in reverse that the sensors are blocked or faulty so i have to take my car into the garage you know it's on my car is only what one year old so that is happening just january you know the ongoing sofa gate January, the start to the year, it just has been awful. But yes, if you've got any comments, advice on skin peels or dog illnesses, feel free to put it in the description, um, in comments. I'm even thinking to go some sort of holistic way with my dog um, to improve his, his immune system. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> It wouldn't be a Monday vlog if Nisha didn't have something to moan about, but that's my life. Which in fact, I sometimes regret sharing so much. So I do share quite a lot about myself, about my thoughts, what bothers me, what I'm enjoying, a bit about my family, my dog. Most of you are lovely and share my thoughts and not understand where I'm coming from and appreciate some things that I share like for example menopause, skincare, things that bother me because there are things that might bother you as well. But you know that there is a lot of people that hate watch and what I mean is these people that absolutely despise me, hate me, don't like me, but watch it so they can have, they say, and criticize me and say horrible things about me in comments. I can hide those comments and I sometimes do because, you know, I don't want, because sometimes the rest of you get involved and it becomes sometimes unpleasant. It's like an argument in comments. So, and I think because I do share quite a lot about myself, but really, this is probably just like one third of my life. Some people think that that gives them the right to judge me, to say horrible things to me. So sometimes I wish I never started those vlogs, but I know a lot of you enjoy them, appreciate them, find the conversation helpful. So I've been thinking maybe I should have like a private group, you know, something like Patreon, but then you have to charge for that. And because, you know, the haters probably wouldn't want to pay to hate you, to just go and watch you to hate you. So I don't know how I feel about it. I feel a bit weird charging people for watching me. <laughs> so... I don't know, but it's been in my thoughts for, for a while now. So I don't know 
what to do about it. Anyway, I think I will finish here on that thought. <laughs> um, I will see you next week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.